In terms of the uh, cordless drop saws, I feel like Makita and DeWalt and all of them are really sort of not taking into consideration what people want. Cordless tool, I think they uh, need to be quite portable. I didn't want to go and buy a whole new rack of batteries just for one tool though. So I've gone ahead and I've made, made one of these. I must, it's an adapter to uh, run this off me um, DeWalt tools, which I've already got a fair few uh, batteries for. Right, so you want to get a bit of 32 mil uh, heavy duty uh, conduit and heat up probably the last 60 mil of it with your heat gun or hot box. But once you've added your heat to the um, conduit, you kind of deform it. So I'm just using a screwdriver to push it in there and on the bench. You don't need to deform it very much though. Try that to see how it fits. You're probably, at this stage you're probably only able to push it down as far as the um, contacts in there just because they stick out a bit further. And you've got that fitting in there. You want to just mark it somewhere off the back of the... Um, where you're going to cut that off. So what I've come up with here is just a bit of... A bit of a, uh, saddle bend over at the end so once you got your um, bits of metal bent up or whatever you want to trace out around them because you're going to have to put a bit of a little groove in there somewhere to just so the back end of it doesn't catch when it pulls in and out just be careful with your fingers I'm going to drill a hole either side and through the bottom of their groove. Alright, so you're going to want to put a hot and cold wire on these terminals. From what I can understand, the, um, well, basically, that's effective our flats side of the battery so you look at it that way flat side of the battery positive negative but just confirm that with your either with your tool or on a um on a battery so you can feed the wires through a little hole i've made in the side so you're going to want to tin up the end of your wires and your little contacts that you've made you're going to need a fair bit of heat getting that soldered up so have your machine on nice and hot That's what we've got, just on the back of them, each of them contacts a um, supply of solder. It's going to be hot as, but you're going to want to push them down. Make sure they line up through your little holes you made before. Next thing we're going to get a piece of pine. We're going to cut it the size of a, size of a battery. Now you've done that, you just want to whack yourself a 32mm hole. On there, mark where the you need to seat that back into there at. Hold your wires out of the way, you want to just drill a hole through that gets your conduit. And still keeping the wires out of the way. If you want to ram a sort of tapper in from the side. Now for a bit of mechanical protection for them wires you want to just feed a bit of tubing in there over them. I've got one of these. It's an old drill. It's stuffed. So what I'm going to do... Once you get sort of that bit with your um, bottom of your trigger which has the contacts for the uh, battery in it, you want to just clean it all up a bit so you've got nothing there that might um, short your 
showing out. Alright, so I've basically got rid of everything in there that could possibly contact with anything and short, short it all out. And get your, get your battery, or dummy battery that you made. And then you want to tin your um, contacts inside the little plastic thing as well. This one at least, it actually says which contacts which. Running that up, so go ahead and hold your machine together, basically. Got that all connected back up together. Grab your little bits of plastic and whatnot and hook it all back up. And see how it went. Two self tappers through the top here and, and a saddle around the back of the handle. There you have it. Um, one thing you might want to do is just stick these um, contacts here down with a bit of super glue just to make sure that they um, stay in place if you're planning on pouring it in and out. I'm going to, once it's in this thing, probably cable tie it in and never take it out again just because this is the only tool that I actually wanted out of the Ryobi range. That's what we've come up with. If you had a um, old dead battery, you could save a lot of time and effort by just taking the top of the um, old battery off and somehow attaching your base off your folding DeWalt tool. Um, save you a hell of a lot of time, actually.